So the first one is the definite integral of 4 minus 5x from minus 1 to 3. So the second is the definite integral of 1 minus 3 times absolute value of x from minus 2 to 2, okay? So the sixth thing is the, the definite integral of x plus 2 times the square root of 1 minus x squared from 0 to 1. And uh, number 17 is the definite equal of minus 3 to 0, 2 plus the square root of 9 minus x squared. Okay. So we use the left side area. Okay, the left side area. So in order to have, uh, use the formula, use the formula. This area, for example, here is a1, here is a2. So you go to a1 minus a2, yeah? a1 here is the base, is 3, yeah? And here the height is also 3. So here you have to find the base, yeah? Okay. So the base is 3, yeah? So the base is 3, yeah? Okay. 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 So the base is 3, yeah? Okay.
equal to L1 minus S2. L1 equal to 3 times 3, 1 half. Yeah, minus this, this base is 1. This base is 1. So, 1 times 1. So, it's 1 half. 9 minus 1, so equal to yeah, 1 times 1, 1, yeah, so here is 4, yeah, 4, so here is 5 times 4, 20, so here is 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everybody here is this part plus this part.
S O two equal to one half times one times one, so equal to one half. Yeah. Yes. So this part actually equal to what? Equal to a one minus a two. Yeah. So equal to nine by two minus one by two. Yeah. Yes. So here equal to sixteen minus five times four. So equal to sixteen minus twenty equal to minus four. So how many students get the right answer? Hands up. One, two, three, just three, yeah? For the first one. Now for the second one. Okay, for the second one here. So can you understand this one? Now for the second one. Okay, for the second one. Here is the same. Okay, the integral of the difference is equal to the difference of the integral. Yeah. So you go to what? You go to minus two to two one ds minus the integral from minus 2 to 2, here it is 3 times the absolute value of x, dx, yeah? So here, now, for this one, okay? Here 3 is a constant, can move it through the integral sign, yeah? So here it is 3, move it through, yeah, yeah. So now, now, So for the first one, okay, for the first one here, x from minus 2 to 2, y equal to 1, yeah? y equal to 1, so here, 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 here for, the, for the first one, okay, x from minus 2 to 2, y equal to 1, so here, it, uh, x from minus 2 to 2 and y equal to 1. So y equal to 1 here. So the left side value actually is a right triangle, yeah? It's a right triangle. So here the base is what? Two. The base is 2? 4. The base is 4, yeah? The height is what? 1. 1, yeah? So here so the first uh, actually equal to 4 times 1, yeah? Minus 3 times th this definitely equal one, yeah? So this definitely equal one here is x equal to minus 2 to 2. y equal to the absolute value of x. So here we plot the graph. We plot the graph actually is like this. So plot the absolute view, okay? The absolute view of x, the show is v short, yeah? v short. So here, actually, like this. v short. v short. So here, here is minus 2, here is 2. Here is minus 2, here is 2. Okay? So here is 2, here is 2. Here two. Okay? So here also two. Okay? Here also two. So now we can see this. This is integral, okay? This integral actually equal to the area of A1 plus the area of A2, yeah? Because this 2, okay, this 2 is the area above, above the integral, yeah? Yeah. So equal to A1 plus A2. So A1 equal to what? So the base here is what? The base 2, yeah? The base here is 2, the, the height is what? Also two, yeah. So a one equal to what? So a one equal to one half times two times two equal to two, yeah. And a two. So what's the base here? Two. The name, the height. Two, yeah. 
So the A2 equal to what? So A2 also equal to 1 half times 2 times 2 equal to 2. So here equal to A1 plus A2. So here is 2 plus 2. So here equal to 4 minus 3 times 4. So you go to minus 8. Yeah? Minus 8. So how many students can get it right now? So hands up. So just you know So just one student. So you can see it's not a difficult. So how can you pass the final examination? Now for the, for the number 16, okay, for the number 3 here. Number 16 here we can see is the integral of uh, sum. You go to the sum of the integral, so here times 16 equal to what? Equal to the integral of x. The integral of x plus the integral of 2 times the square root of 1 minus x squared dx. Yeah? So here now is the same, okay? Here 2 is a constant. Can move it through the integral sign. So here 2 can move it through here. 2 times here. So the first here we need to find the left side area. Okay? X, X equal to 0 to 1. Y equal to X. So here actually is what? Here actually is X, X, X from 0 to 1. Okay? And Y equal to X. Y equal to X we plot it actually is like this. Here is y equal to x. So the left side angle actually is this angle, yeah? It's a triangle, yeah? So triangle, what's the base? The base is what? One. So the height is what? One. It's also one, yeah? So this part actually is equal to one half times one times one, yeah? And plus two times this. This integral, okay, this integral we calculate, this is equal to what? This computer we uh, this integral we compute twice, okay? Yes. It's what? It's one by four five. One by four times five, yeah? yeah. So this is equal to what? So the result actually is one half plus one half five, okay? So this is the result. Now for the number 17, okay? Now for the number 17. Here, it's the same, okay? It's the integral of a sum. The integral of a sum, you go to the sum of the integral, okay? So here you go to, so here you go to minus 3 to 0, the integral of 2 plus the integral of the square root 9 minus x squared dx, okay? So for the first one here, x from minus 3 to 0, y equal to 2, okay? So we plot the graph. We plot the graph. x, oh no, no, x from Minus 3 to 0. Here is x, here is y. So minus 3 to 0, here is minus 3, here is 0. And y equal to 2. So y equal to 2, here is y equal to 2. Okay? Y equal to 2. So from here we can see the left side area actually is a rectangle. Yes? A rectangle. So what's the base? The base is what? Three. Three. The so height is what? Two. Two, yeah? So the area actually is three times two, yeah? 
three times two. So this is the first. The second here, x from minus three to zero, y equal to the square root of that minus x squared. So here now, let's see, y equal to the square root, the square root of nine minus x squared, okay? X belongs to minus three to zero, okay? Minus three to zero. Now we need to see what this shows y equal to the square root of that minus x square. So we take square on both sides. So here we have what? y square equal to non minus x square, yeah? Yes. So we, we, we plus x square on both sides. So here we have what? x square plus y square equal to nine, yeah? Yes. So what is this short? It's a circle, yeah? What, what, what's the what's the center? Zero, 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 zero yeah. What's the root? Three. Three, yeah. yeah. So here actually is a, is a circle. So so the root is three, okay? The root is three. Now we can see here. Y, okay, X, X is this interval, yeah? X is adaptive, and Y is positive or adaptive. Y equal to the square root of 9 minus X squared, so Y is positive or adaptive? X adaptive, Y positive, so here is this part, which, which part? X adaptive, okay, X adaptive, so here X actually is on the left. And the y is positive, so y actually is up. So actually it's this part, yeah? This part, yeah? So this part, well, what's the area of this part? So the area actually is also one by four, the area of the circle, yeah? So here plus one by four times the area of the circle, pi r square, i is what? i is three, yeah? So r times three square. So the result actually is, is six plus nine by four times five. Okay. So this is the result. Now, now, now we see page two hundred and ninety nine. Two hundred and ninety nine. Okay. Now I hope that. I hope that you get to do the exercise from nine or from seven to eleven. Okay, do it your time. From seven, from seven to eleven. Okay, from seven to eleven, do it your time. Okay. Now, now we give, we do another exercise. From 18 to 19, okay, from 18 to 19, use three term 6, those 5, those 6 to determine what is the view of the integral is positive or negative. So here, Now we see the page 299, number 18 to number 19, okay? So here, the first is the integral from 2 to 3, okay? From 2 to 3, the square root of x minus 1, by 1 minus x, yes. The first one, okay? The second one is 0 to 4. 0 to 4, x squared, minus 3 minus cosine x, okay? Divided by 3 minus cosine x, yes. The second one, okay? And the third one is minus 3 to minus 1, x to the fourth power, divided by the square root 3 minus x. 
3 minus x dx. x cube minus 9, okay? Divide it as absolute u x plus 1 dx. So here, now we use which result? We use this result, okay? This result. So if f is the integral number r may be and f x is greater than zero, then the integral is greater than zero. Okay? So now, now you need to see this function is uh, this function is positive or negative on this interval. If this function is positive on this interval, so the so integral is positive. Okay? So if this if here, if this this integral, okay, uh, if this function is negative on this interval, then this interval or this integral is positive, okay? So now, now we need to determine is determine positive or negative. Okay, so do it. So actually it's easy, okay? You just need to see the integral is positive or negative. If the integral is positive on the, on the interval, so the integral is positive.
So it's easy, yeah? yeah. <laughs> of course, it's so easy, yeah? So now, the last is over. And the, and the students who will not sign here, now sign again, yeah? So the, the students sign, sign it, so you can give, okay? So the students do not sign, so sign here. Actually, the students not sign, actually it's late, okay?